back on the NYCFC pregame show along with the Enjoy. I'm Joe Tollison, joined now by the head coach of New York City Football Club, Ronnie Dyla. And Ronnie, have to feel good coming off a match where not only five goals, but five different goal scores. And we can finally stop asking you when you think Tati Castellanos will score again. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that was good. Um, he deserved that. Um, and we had a good performance. We, we created... Uh, 11, 12, 13 goal chances, and that's not normal in a, in a football game. So we just have to, again, as I said to everybody all the time, we have to keep on doing what we're doing, and we have to know why we are good. And uh, when we know why, we, we know what to do when we, we come to the pitch. Uh, so hopefully today we can have another good performance. Roddy, you've been forced to make some changes, obviously. It happens when fatigue sets in, slight injuries, maybe international duty, whatever it may be. How difficult is it for you to handle these guys? I mean, they all want to play. They all want to be in your starting 11 every single game. But how difficult is it for you to be able to have that conversation to say, hey, you know what, you, you might just need a rest today? I think it's very easy right now because we have so many games, so everyone understands. And at the same time, also, we, we are a group now who, who really want each other well and want to achieve something together. Uh, really good togetherness. Um, and people are thinking about the team in front of themselves. And uh, that's, uh, that's a big thing. But uh, of course, you need to talk with uh, the players um, so they understand how you're thinking. And now it's not about people not performing, it's more about, you know, keeping everybody warm. And also, as you said, if people are a little bit tired or, or a little bit fatigued, then, uh, then we take a, a game on the bench and then they come back again. Ronnie, you've got a team tonight in Columbus. You're probably pretty sick of seeing them, the way things have been going this season. Uh, you, you get them again here. Uh, aside from Lucas Zellerayan, do you approach this any differently based on the games you've already played this season? Uh, no. We, again, uh, when we get to the play we do now, it's, it's more about what we are going to do and how we execute uh, the way they are playing. Um, so that's a good way to come to that because earlier we were more like thinking about how to stop them. Now it's more about how we can make them uh, suffer and have problems. Uh, so I think you have to see that in a long perspective, the, the one half year and we play them away uh, for in my first game in the MLS and then we, we pick a red card, was a tough game. We also played them in the autumn uh, away and we, we didn't have a chance. We uh, They had much more chance than us and after that we have turned it around. So this is the champions. It's a tough, tough game. But um, I think if we get up to the standards we, and the level that we had in the weekend, we have a good chance to win again. I like the fact you just touched upon the chemistry within the team and you've been a part of championship winning sides and, and groups of players that have really really excelled and gone to the next level how does this group of players compare to what you've had in the past maybe in uh, glasgow celtic or even previous to that it's a lot of the same you know first of all it's very ambitious players very hungry to get better every day uh want to achieve something together and also you know, as individuals and also a lot of potential uh and that's what's the most exciting with this team now it's yeah we are still we are very good right now but we can be much better because everybody is young almost and, and have a lot of uh, potentially to take out so um, so I think it's uh, and, and to get that togetherness um, it's good it's still you know a culture takes years to, to build up but I think uh, we are getting there we, we are have a good togetherness still we can be tougher with each other sometimes and also be more communicative communicative in, uh, in everything we do but um, but we just have to keep on working Ronnie, uh, kind of a mixed blessing. James Sands uh, progressing with the United States to the final of the Gold Cup. It's nice that he gets some more international competition, but it's a few more days before he returns to the team, and they played last night and were able to win. What were your thoughts on that match? I think it was uh, as a tough match. Uh, I think uh, they could go both ways, but uh, it's, uh, it's some good energy of the national team now for, for U.S. It's... Uh, they have belief and um, they have also depth. So you see people coming on to the, to the game and and uh, add positive quality, positive energy into the to the team. So I'm very happy for them and uh, it's good for U.S. soccer as well. All right, Ronnie Dyla, thanks for a few moments. Good luck tonight against Columbus. Thank you.